Okay, so um, I thought I'd done really well when I came up with the green method of um, graphene production using electrolysis, and for a top-down approach, it was a pretty good method. Now, a top-down approach is where you take the bulk material and break it up into the sheets. But there's a, another way of doing it, and that's the bottom-up, where you take some precursor and build up the graphene from there. And as I say, as far as um, green methods had come, I, I was really pleased with the electrolysis method. And then I came across the uh, Tang Lao method. Now, the Tang Lao method is um, kicking around there and being quite famous at the moment, and it's a, a bottom-up synthesis of graphene. It is essentially a hydrothermal carbonisation of sugar. Um, they use glucose, sucrose, fructose, a whole load of things, um, and I'm going to use normal table sugar, uh, and that's sucrose. And Tang Lao team say that um, any sugar will do it. Anything that's got a carbon-hydrogen-oxygen ratio 1 to 2 to 1, round about there, is going to work. Anything outside of that um, doesn't work. So things like polypyrols and um, long-chain hyd hydrocarbons just don't work. So it's basically, if you stick to one of those three sugars, you're going to have uh, some success. Now, um, anybody who's watched my previous videos on hydrothermal carbonisation will remember this little thing. And this little thing is a, a couple of pipe fittings, so there's two end caps there, and a, a central screw um, section called a pipe nipple here. And bolting those together with a bit of um, PTFE yellow tape between them creates, in fact, a very small autoclave. Now, the, the pressure on these is fine for the temperature we're going to put this at. Um, I've had this up to 225 full of water and no problems at all. Now, all you do is make up a sugar solution. And this sugar solution is a 0.5 molar sugar solution. Now, the um, molecular weight of sugar is 342 grams per mole, and it's 50 millilitres in there, so if you work it out, it's about 8.5 grams. So there's 8.5 grams of sugar in 50 millilitres of water. And all we do is um, pour it into there. And that's about a 42 millilitre capacity. Put on the top, tighten it down good and tight, and then you put that in the oven. And you put that in the oven at 165 degrees for 70 minutes. And according to the Tang Lao team, that will produce um, one single layer of graphene oxide, a nanometer thick. The longer you leave it, the thicker it gets, because the um, graphene oxide begins by forming its layer, and then the other graphene oxides form as that is the basal plane. So the longer time you leave it, then the thicker that layer is going to get. Now there are three variables that you've got that you can play with. The concentration of the sugar, the temperature at which you heat it, and the time at which you heat it too. So if you heat this to 180 degrees, say, instead of 165, and leave it for three hours instead of 70 minutes, you're going to get thicker um, graphene oxide out of that. So that's basically the theory, and that's all you do with it. So all I'm going to do now is go and stick that in the oven at 165 for 70 minutes, and let's see what happens. So here it is after it's come out of the autoclave. And as you can see, it's kind of a, a dirty brown colour, which is mostly the burnt sugar and caramel. But on the top there, if I shake it, you can see this thin layer. If I move that over a little bit, you see it breaking up. Now that thin layer, apparently, is uh, a thin layer of graphene oxide. So what I've got is a small slip of glass, and if I pop it in there, and run that up down, then I should be able to pick that layer off. And there it goes. There we go. And what we have there is a monolayer of graphene oxide. So I'm going to dry that and then heat it and we'll see what happens.